How do we choose reliable support for our oil painting techniques exercises? All of these exercises could be done on an unstretched canvas or special oil painting paper. Let's have a look at paper. This is a high quality paper specifically designed for oil painting. Such oil painting paper pads are very popular, especially for sketching purposes and painting exercises. Oil painting paper has a lot of advantages over the unstretched canvases and canvas boards. First of all, it is a reasonably priced option. The paper takes minimal storage space and because it's lightweight, it's ideal for traveling and is very easy to store. If you are working on heavyweight watercolor paper or any other paper that isn't specifically designed for oil painting, it should be specially prepared with at least two coats of gesso. First, I wet the front side of this paper with a sponge, and, when it's fully wet, I turn it over and place it on the clean wooden board, face side down. Then, I thoroughly wet the reverse side of this sheet and let it absorb the water for several minutes. When the paper expands, I place the wooden board on top of the paper and will use a staple gun to affix the paper sheet to the board. I start stretching the paper by stapling it in the middle of the long sides. Then, I do the same for the short sides. When this sheet is secured in place, I work my way along all sides towards the corners, and, at the end, do all four corners. Then, I can flip the board over and let it dry, face up, for several hours. Unstretched Primed Canvas Look at these color theory exercises and color charts. They are done on unstretched prime canvas. You can buy unstretched prime canvas and choose any tooth and kind of material you fancy. As you see here, we have a few examples of slightly different linen canvases with quite even and smooth textures. Canvas Boards Canvas boards are suitable for both exercises and for the creation of artworks. Such canvas boards are sold in any art shop and can be used straight for painting without any additional preparation. However, when you use a ready-made canvas board for creating an important artwork, just apply one additional coat of gesso on the top. Pre-stretched ready-to-paint canvas Pre-stretched, ready-to-paint canvas in many sizes can be found in any art supply shop. It's a very handy option with both pros and cons. I prefer to stretch and prime my canvases myself. When I prepare the canvas with my own hands, I can guarantee that it is of good quality. Self-made, stretched and primed canvas. Now let's have a look at the best support for our important artworks. I recommend starting a habit of preparing canvases by yourself. Once you have done so, try painting on professionally prepared canvas. You won't go back to pre-stretched canvas prepared by manufacturers. It is easy to stretch and prime canvas. What we need is the following. Wooden stretcher bars and cross braces. Canvas, preferably linen. Cotton may also be suitable if you like. Scissors. Measuring tape, staple gun and staples, or rubber hammer and usual hammer and carpet tacks. Rabbit skin glue, gesso. Wide flat brush for decoration works. Sandpaper. First of all, we have to stretch a canvas on a frame. For this, 
We need wooden stretchers and a piece of unprimed canvas. Stretchers. How do we choose stretchers? There are many varieties of stretchers to choose from. We can roughly divide them into three categories. Economy, mid-quality, and super professional. Here they are. We take three pairs of stretchers with the lengths of 25 centimeters, it's about 10 inches. As you see, they are quite different in size. Economy stretchers are lightweight stretchers suitable for small size artworks. Canvases over 14 inches, 35 centimeters, will be too flimsy, so you need to choose thicker stretchers like these ones, mid-quality stretchers. They are medium duty and are designed for mid and large size artworks. They are actually our best choice. They form a stable frame that is strong and reliable, which is exactly what we need. Check that the bars are adjusted at right angles. Take the measuring tape or a ruler and check if the diagonal lengths are identical. If they are not, it means your frame is not rectangular, but slightly or heavily trapezoidal. Adjust the angles until they are identical. We need a piece of canvas, preferably linen. Cotton is also suitable if you like it. I personally like the simplest classical type of weave, the plain weave, also called tabby weave or linen weave. Plain weave linen canvases was the most common weave used by the old masters. For example, Rubens usually preferred plain weave linen. Linen canvases are more expensive and more superior than cotton duck canvases. Linen remains the material of choice for professional painters. Stretched and primed linen canvases are less likely to stretch or shrink, and their threads are less likely to move or deform. You can choose a very fine linen canvas for portrait painting. A fine linen canvas has a very smooth surface that is ideal for painting details. Roll out your canvas, place your frame cantered on top of the canvas, and cut it to the required size. Your canvas has to be at least 4 inches, 10 centimeters, larger than the stretcher's frame. We start to fix the canvas near the corner. Make sure to leave the corners unstapled, about 3 inches, 8 centimeters, away from the very corner. Later, we will neatly fold the canvas on the corners. Place one staple to secure the canvas. Rotate your canvas to the opposite side. The pattern of sequence is the following. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now we have a canvas nailed at the corners. The next step is to fix the canvas in the middle. After the corners and the middle of the canvas are fixed, you can finish stretching randomly. Avoid nailing staples too close to each other. The distance of 3 to 4 inches, 8 to 10 centimeters, is optimal. After securing the canvas along the edges, it's time to fold the corners. We can cut the excess canvas in the corners. Fold the material towards the inside like this, and then staple the fold.
In no case should the canvas be overstretched like a drum. It should be stretched very moderately. After sizing and priming, the tension becomes much tighter. If you overstretch the canvas from the beginning, it can split from excess tension when sized and primed, or deform the frame. As you may notice, we bent the canvas inside. Now our canvas looks neat and professional. Now our canvas is ready to be sized and primed. If you apply an oil paint directly onto a raw canvas, the paint will soak into the fabric and pass through the fabric and in the long run will cause the fabric to deteriorate. On this schematic illustration, we can see exactly what we are going to do. This is our support. In our case, it is a canvas, but it could be a canvas board or a wooden panel. We will size the canvas with glue and then prime it with two or three coats of primer. Let's see the process in detail. We have to size the canvas before priming. For this purpose, we need rabbit skin glue. Traditional canvas sizing show excellent adhesion and barrier properties. For centuries, artists have used it to protect raw canvases from the disintegrating effects of oil paints. To prepare the glue, we first need to soak the glue in cold water in a proportion of one portion of rabbit skin glue to ten portions of water. It takes about two to three hours until the rabbit skin glue gets swollen and to completely dissolve. It is helpful to stir the mix from time to time. I usually leave rabbit skin glue in water to soak overnight. Now we have to slowly heat the soaked glue in an improvised double boiler. On the bottom of a pan, put a soft piece of fabric. Place your pot of dissolved rabbit skin glue on top of the fabric. Pour cold water into the pan so that it covers three quarters of your glue pot. Heat the mixture slowly till the rabbit skin glue becomes fluid. If the water in the pan boils, take the pan off the stove. The most important thing is to prevent the rabbit skin glue from boiling. Put your finger into the liquid glue. Now rub your fingers. They should stick to each other for a while, but not strongly. Then the stickiness should end. If your fingers stick too strong and the stickiness remains for a long time, you have to add more water. Do not boil rabbit skin glue. If boiled, the rabbit skin glue will lose its adhesive properties. Keep a pot with rabbit skin glue in hot water while you size the canvas. Once the glue cools, it becomes jelly-like and you need to put it in hot water again. Brush this mixture quickly onto the canvas, allowing it to penetrate the weave of the fabric. You have to wait several hours before your canvas becomes dry. Now you can use a fine sandpaper to remove any irregularities on the canvas surface. Apply a second thin layer of sizing. Do not sand the second sizing. Two thin coats are enough to properly block oil penetration into the fabric. Rabbit skin glue will tighten the canvas as well as make it stiff, which is helpful for sandpapering and priming. It's time to prime with gesso. Such ready-made acrylic gesso will satisfy our needs entirely. We have two options, to use thick gesso as it is from the pot, or add water to make it more fluid. Apply gesso with a wide flat brush in thin layers. The first layer should be thin, one parts gesso and two parts water. Gesso should be applied with a brush in one direction of the weaves of the canvas. After the first layer is completely dried, apply the next one. The second and third layers of gesso should be more dense, three parts gesso to one part water. If you apply undiluted gesso straight from the pot, it would be enough to apply just two coats of gesso. 
If you dilute gesso with water, as I usually do, three or four coats are required. Four thin coats of primer work much better than one or two thick undiluted coats. Gesso provides excellent tooth and oil paint will perfectly stick to its surface, making a unified layer. The rich white surface allows maximum color reflection, which is crucial in our multi-layered painting technique. Before painting, we have to allow the primed canvas to dry completely for 24 hours. The acrylic gesso is water-based and we can paint over with other water-based media or straight with oil paints. Never use oil primer. It proved its disability. In the middle of 19th century, when connection with old master's methods was completely lost, many misleading techniques of painting and priming methods occurred. Artists started to use oil-based primers, which caused significant damage to paintings and dramatically reduced the age of many works from that time. Most of the works painted over oil primer adhere to the ground very weakly and some paint is already falling off. The fact is that oil ground has a high glossy surface that does not absorb oil from the paint. Thus painting layers are very poorly attached to the oil ground and after sufficient drying time it can easily separate from it. The connection between the ground and a paint layer is unstable, especially in a multi-layered impasto painting. Well, let's see where we are, what our conclusions about painting supports. Paper for oil painting, unstretched canvas, and canvas boards are suitable for painting exercises, color theory tests, sketches, studies, preliminary brush drawings, in other words, for secondary purposes. Pre-stretched canvas, ready-to-paint canvas that we can acquire from any art shop, should only be used in cases where we need to paint, but there is no time and inappropriate conditions to prepare the canvas ourselves. Apply an extra coat of gesso over it. Self-made stretched and primed canvas, the best option for our primary artworks. Oil painting is part of a culture. The culture is not invented from scratch by every new generation of artists. It's passed from teacher to student. You need someone more knowledgeable, experienced, and talented, who can teach you the skills of the craft and proficient painting techniques. Such oil painting techniques are no longer taught at contemporary art colleges. The secrets of the old masters are not known to the majority of contemporary painters. That's why we promote the values of classical fine art and share traditional painting techniques. That's why we offer you a unique opportunity to study under the personal guidance of professional fine artists and art tutors. For students like you, we created a very special and truly unique course, Old Masters Academy Correspondence Course. In this course, you'll have a dedicated team of art tutors. Natalie Ricci and Vladimir London will provide you with personal tutoring, teaching you all you need to know to become a better artist. By now, you may have questions about this course, what you will get and how you will benefit. We will answer your questions one by one. What is the Old Masters Academy Correspondence Course? The Correspondence Course is a personal one-to-one -one tutoring experience where you will learn traditional oil painting skills under the guidance of dedicated art teachers. Studying by correspondence means that you'll get all necessary instructions, explanations, tutoring, critique, and guidance in writing. What will I learn on this course? You will learn how to paint in oil like the old masters, using modern materials. Depending on your current level of skills and knowledge, a custom tailored curriculum will be developed just for you. This curriculum will include many different topics with up to 50 art tasks that will help you to achieve a greater level of oil painting skills. What topics will this course cover? The course topics will aim to bridge your skills and knowledge gaps and may include such topics as knowledge of fine art materials, color theory, how to mix pigments, how to prepare support for oil painting, how to transfer drawings, how to paint in monochrome and with limited color palette.
how to use different painting techniques such as alla prima, multi-layer, Flemish, and the Italian ways of painting used during Renaissance and Baroque, how to paint realistic portraits and figures in oil, and much more. What if I want to learn something special? Will we include additional topics into your curriculum based on your art goals so you can achieve them? Is this course suitable for beginners? If you're a complete beginner, this course will be tremendously helpful for you. We will include basic yet very helpful topics for you to begin with and will help you to grow your skills to the advanced level. If you're an advanced artist, your curriculum will start with a different set of tasks that will include topics you're interested in. For example, this could include how to depict emotions in portrait, how to portray personality of a sitter, how to do genre paintings, and so on. Is it possible for me to learn oil painting by correspondence? Studying by correspondence will give you a great advantage over some face-to-face -face teaching. First of all, your schedule will be much more flexible, so you can study at your own pace. But above all, you'll receive all feedback and tutoring in writing. This means it'll be available for you at any time so you can reread instructions and explanations, recheck our critique, refresh rules and advice given, and refer to educational materials provided for previous tasks. Who are the tutors? You'll have a dedicated team of art tutors. Natalie Ricci and Vladimir London, who taught many art students and helped them to become professional artists. Natalie Ricci is a professional figurative fine artist. Her art education spans many years and includes earning an MFA degree at the Latvian Academy of Arts, as well as extensive self-educational research and practice of the old master's painting methods. Natalie has a deep passion for the traditional art of the Renaissance and Baroque era and dedicates her time and efforts to rediscovering the secrets of the old master's oil painting techniques. Vladimir London is an art tutor and creator of several online art courses, including Drawing Academy, Anatomy Masterclass, and Life Drawing Academy. As a professional artist, Vladimir paints in watercolor and oil, as well as doing figurative drawings. How skills of your art students improved? Natalie and Vladimir have taught many students around the world how to draw and paint. You can check their students' progress in the online gallery of Old Masters Academy and other art courses. You're also welcome to check students' reviews and feedbacks on the progress they've achieved because of the Old Masters Academy course tutors. Who will be my main art tutor? Your main art tutor will be Natalie Ricci. When she's away, Vladimir will step in so your education will go smoothly at all times. How will I communicate with tutors? All communication will be via email. Verbal instructions and critique could be forgotten the next day, but written guidance will be available for as long as you choose to keep it. Can I talk over a phone or Skype with tutors? For the reasons explained above, we will not waste your time with video calls. You'll need to keep the written instructions for future reference. Believe us, there will be a lot of information to take in, and there's no way you could remember it the first time if you hear it over the phone. How my skills in progress will be evaluated. Before creating a custom-tailored curriculum for you, your art skills will be evaluated, and your art tutors will provide you with a full comprehensive critique of your current level of abilities and advise what needs to be improved. Your skills also will be assessed as you go task by task. You'll know precisely what you have to work on at every step of the curriculum. Do I need special art materials? If you already paint in oils, you probably already have the materials required. The list of necessary materials will be provided at the beginning. We will teach you how to make masterpieces with art supplies that are available at any art shop. What art tasks will I get? This depends on your personal curriculum, which will be tailored to your current level of skill.
Such tasks may include color theory exercises, how to mix and apply pigment, how to paint in oil layer by layer, how to make realistic portraits and figures, and so on. What instructions will I get? For every task, you will get fully explained and illustrated instructions that you can follow step by step. Every task will be described point by point, so it will be very clear to what you do and how. Are there any deadlines? This is a self-paced course. There are no deadlines and no time pressure. How long will it take for me to complete the course? This depends on you. If you take two weeks for every task, it would take you about two years to do the course. Will I become a professional artist by completing this course? This depends on your goals. If you would like to dedicate your professional life to making fine art, this course will be very helpful in achieving your dream. The information and skills you will learn in the Old Masters Academy Correspondence course are not taught at contemporary art colleges. The know-how you will receive in this course will give you the edge to become a better artist. When will my tutoring be completed? You will finish the correspondence course when you have completed all 50 of the art tasks to the quality required. What will happen after the course? When you complete the correspondence course, you'll receive an Old Masters Academy Diploma of Excellence in your name and will have full Academy membership for life. You can send us your artwork for critique at any time. This support is unlimited and comes at no extra cost. Can you guarantee my results? For legal reasons, we cannot guarantee any results because they do not depend on us. They depend on you. We can only say that if you follow the curriculum task by task, there is no way to fail. You will get certain skills and know-how from every single task. If you follow our instructions, your new skills will reflect in the quality of the art you produce. How does the correspondence course compare to an art college? The Old Masters painting techniques are the core of the correspondence course. Such techniques are simply not taught at contemporary art colleges. In a college, you will not get a custom-tailored curriculum developed just for you. In the correspondence course, all your educational topics and tasks will be based on such a curriculum so you can learn what you need to improve your personal oil painting skills. As the Old Masters Academy student, you will have lifetime access to 60 video lessons. It's as good as sitting next to the tutor and watching her painting and drawing in front of your eyes. No teacher at a contemporary art college will ever show you by his own example how to create different masterpieces, giving a step-by-step -step explanation. To study at an art college, you would have to relocate, your schedule would be strict, and you would have deadlines to meet. At Old Masters Academy, you can study in the comfort of your home. You will have your own flexible schedule and no deadlines. At a college, your tutoring would be limited. At Old Masters Academy, you will have a lifetime membership for a one-time fee. At a college, you would get limited support. At Old Masters Academy, such support is unlimited, available for a lifetime, includes your artworks critiqued, and comes at no extra cost. At a contemporary art college, it would take up to four years of your time and may cost up to $100,000, including relocation, accommodation, tuition, and other fees. This comes with no guarantee that you'll actually learn the necessary skills of the trade. How much does this course cost? When it comes to the price, consider this. The total value of this course is $10,000, 50 tasks for $200 each. However, for a limited number of students, you can enroll at the heavily discounted price of only $997. When the capacity is filled, we will suspend enrollment or put the price to reflect its real value. Can I get a refund? Our time is limited, and therefore we can only accept a limited number of students. If you're not sure whether you want to become a better artist, please don't take someone else's place. 
to help you take your responsibility for your decisions, we will tell you up front there will be no refunds. We will not support your procrastination should you sabotage yourself. Once you enroll, you'll have to continue to the end to make your dream come true. Can I get a discount? The correspondence course is already heavily discounted. However, if you're already an Old Masters Academy online course student, you can upgrade your membership to the correspondence course for only $700. Will this course work for me? The question should actually be the other way around. Will you work to achieve your art goals? There is simply no way to fail because your skills cannot stay the same as long as you practice the oil painting techniques we will teach you. If you do the tasks one by one and follow our guidance and suggestions for improvement, this course will work for you, and your oil painting skills will advance to a higher level. Do not miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. To learn traditional oil painting skills, enroll in the Old Masters Academy Correspondence course now.